In the past, a widely used indicator to show how governments drove innovation was to look at how much they spent through direct support of research and development in the business sector. This included, for example, money supporting the development of new military technology in the defence industry. The United States has been the world leader in such spending for a long time, followed by France and Korea. But governments can choose other tools to leverage private sector R&D, such as tax credits which cut the cost of R&D and allow companies to choose which project to fund. The OECD has now collected data that looks at how much governments spend indirectly on supporting R&D in the business sector via tax credits. Including this in the equation changes the picture radically. Korea provides huge indirect support for R&D, which makes up more than half its total. Canada spends around 10 times more indirectly on support for R&D than it does directly, and Belgium more than twice as much. Taking into account both types of spending, Korea now moves to the top of the field, followed by Canada and France. The US falls slightly and Belgium moves ahead. There's no right or wrong way to support R&D in the business sector, the OECD argues. Getting the balance right is a matter of considering many different factors, such as tax systems, labour markets and the different cultural approaches to entrepreneurship. But what is clear is that governments have a very powerful role to play in helping business unleash their innovation potential in today's knowledge economy.